No, this is absolutely unacceptable, all right? And I can tell you that Hannah Montana will never use your limo company again. Good day, sir. I said good day! And I'm on the phone here, all right? I've got a life, too, you know. And I would appreciate it if I could have one conversation without hearing the words Hannah Montana. Yeah, that's right, girl. I know Hannah Montana. Incredible tickets for tomorrow night. That? I can only hope that when I'm a father, I can get my No children. money. Didn't think so. That girl tonight really dug me, Dad. I think it was the guns. A lot better around here now that you know our little secret. Did you see the way she ignored you? Oh, I'm sorry, but that is no way to treat a man of your compassion, sensitivity. You don't know him, Marvin? Okay. You had a fight. Da -da -da -da. Sit back and please. Da -da -da -da. And now you sit and stub your face. You got the process of the blues. Oh, no! That's the worst song you've ever written. She obviously doesn't remember the potty training song. I like to sing, I like to dance, but I can't do it poopy in my pants. Oh. No, no, no. I think it makes me look a little big around the hips. Please, let's not blame the dress. Daddy, he's finally cracked. You know what, son? I like it, but I don't think it goes with the shoes. Okay, fine. You, you take your little cracks, but but you weren't here, and for me, needed help with the dress, and he said he'd pay me. So this is what you get. Oh, next time, try something with sleeves and deodorant. If you got it, flaunt it. Which reminds me, I got a little blue sequin number waiting for me. Enjoy. <laughs> You just bought a girl car. What? It's an only girls drive this thing. It's a chick mobile with bay bucket and skirt school. Might as well bought a bra with tires, man. You are so wrong. This is totally a guy's car. When I was driving home, there was guys honking and waving and giving me kissy faces. Oh no, Dad, tell me I didn't just buy a chick car. You didn't buy a chick car. Now say it like you mean it. I can't believe you wouldn't take the car back. I thought I made a very convincing argument. Well, technically, son, getting on your hands and knees and begging for a do-over is not really an argument. Oh, dang, this is tight. Son, I prepped your rap. Oh, yes, he did. When you were five, now it just throws my back out. I know, Dad, but what I'm saying is, who really needs history? It's so yesterday, and I'm about the future. Yeah, and so am I. And right now, I see you at 35, living with me, no job, still stealing my change off the couch.
once in her life you think she'd go out on a limb or something. But will she? Mm-mm. Because she is gutless. <laughs> she won't even know that I'm gone. I just talked me into it.
I'm gonna be a plumber, I'm gonna do this right. If you stop looking at the plate, maybe the mouse will come. <laughs> I was right!
skin. My skinny, skinny little feet. That's it. That is it. You don't own me anymore, old devil sugar. That's right. I'm talking to you, big boy. Great Rico Lini, the magical egg. Please, no flash photography. I hold in my hands what looks to be an ordinary egg, but is it one, two, and... Yes, it is! Father. You listen 
to me, Mr. Diddy. <laughs> if you want us to eat at your restaurant again, it's table one or nothing. <laughs> yeah, I don't even care if you have to dump Bradgelina. You're dealing with Jack Santa now. <laughs> good day. I said good day, Diddy. Did not blow him off. I'm sending him a nice fruit basket. Dad, talk to him. strongly worded text message. Like that, it's really kind of serious. The truth is, Jackson and I are totally and completely in love! Oh, boy. 